Today I am remembering when I just arrived in Vrindavan from the Delhi airport. It was four o'clock in the morning and when I came close to the Krishna Balaram temple and saw many devotees running over the streets, coming from the side roads, coming from the opposite direction. And they were all coming like bees uh, to an open glass of Honey, what was that open glass? The Mangal Aratik of Radha Syam Sunda. Yes, in Vrindavan, uh, everyone is focused on Krishna. There's really nothing else. Uh, unless you are absolutely determined to create uh, a false story of uh, something that is more important. In Vrindavan, everyone chants Radha's name. That's how people greet themselves. Radhe, Radhe. You find Shimati Radha Rani's name in a big circle on many of the trees. It is said even that the leaves chant Radha's name. Krishna can be easily found in Vrindavan. Pabodananda Saraswati expressed this question. Where can pure devotion to Sri Krishna be easily found? Where is that playful deity of the Supreme Lord Krishna that is the limit of astonishment to be found? Where uh, is the highest bliss which lies in the worship of Krishna's lotus feet attainable. Oh, brother and sister, let me reveal this secret to you. All this is only attainable in Sri Vrindavan Dham. Coming to Vrindavan puts a big question to us. What is the real life? Uh, on that morning when I arrived in Vrindavan, it seemed really like a dream. Mm, I was jet lagged and everything was so different. It smelled different. The sounds were different. Mm, the people were different. Uh, monkeys everywhere. Uh, and no one keeps the time anywhere. But uh, then, as I became accustomed to the life in Vrindavan, the vest appears like a distant dream, and most of the parts in the dream seem to be so absolutely unnecessary. I know when one is in a prison that one develops uh, certain habits. Uh, and everything there, which is, uh, although it is under the rules of prison life, it is its own reality. And I know that people who come out of the prison uh, into freedom uh, don't know what to do with their freedom. Uh, so, yes, material life with its many conditions upon us, many duties, many responsibilities, have a t kind of stark reality to them. But then one goes to a place like Vrindavan, which is so pervaded with Krishna's presence that you sometimes feel you are directly there with him in the spirit of world. Mm, coming to such a place puts this question, what is the reality? And even more, what reality makes me more happy? <laughs> uh, let us turn now to Shimati Radharani, the queen of this mystical and enchanted land. Let us be mindful about the question, what is is reality and even more which one of the two realities make me more happy <laughs> 